Hi, I'm Lauren. My channel is dedicated to all things photography and video. I'm here in Brick Lane today. I'm going to walk the length of Brick Lane, taking photos as I go, and uh, some video as well. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to pick my five or six favourite photos from today, and then I'll choose my favourite one, and that's the one that I'll post on Instagram. If you're wondering what's behind me here, and you think that looks like a piece of toast with legs on, then yes, you are quite correct, that's what it is, and I'll post a photo of that later as well. So this channel's for you if you're interested in photography, video, looking for photography inspiration. Um, if you're not, and you'd just like to follow me on my travels, this channel's also for you. So welcome, and let's go. I've started at Old Gate East Tube Station, and on my way east to Brick Lane, I see this set of characters and a hoarding around a building site. If you'd like to take photos of these, be careful of traffic because you have to stand on a thin pavement between the road and the cycle lane. I'm now turning left onto Osborne Street and from here you can see the buildings of the city in the distance which make for great contrast photos. The one consistent feature of this area is that it's constantly changing and here a new Brazilian restaurant has popped up. Keeping straight ahead, we're now on Brick Lane itself and straight away you can see the Asian influences in this street. The main draw to the area used to be its Indian restaurants, but now it seems to be street art and diversity. This next photo isn't pretty, but if you're interested in recent local history, it shows the changes in the street since the 1930s when this opened as the Mayfair Cinema. It then became the Cafe Nas Indian restaurant, now it's a Chinese-Japanese restaurant and a travel agent. You can still see some of the street's history as a key player in the fashion trade in this street sign and one or two remaining textile shops. Now, like the Brazilian we saw earlier, global and vegan cuisines are taking over. Now Mexican sits next to Indian, and amongst many others, there's Italian, vegan burgers, Thai and Chinese meat burgers, Italian and Korean fusion, featuring topo gnocchi and lasagna kimchi, French, more burgers, and a range of bars. There's still a wealth of Indian restaurants though, enough to satisfy anybody looking for a really good choice. Today is Thursday, but on Saturday I was here as well with a street photography workshop run by Wex Photographic. So, most of my photos have been taken today, but a few from Saturday are mixed through. I didn't have time to explore this alleyway on Saturday, but now I have. This little alleyway, as it turns out, is very busy and I've turned up at the same time as a few graffiti tours. Here's the photo I mentioned earlier. I'm calling him Toastman. But to find out more, I think I need to go on the graffiti tours. Moving on, and on this street I hear someone say, I love Brick Lane. And his friend replying, Yeah, but it's too colourful for me. It's an assault on my senses. Now we're in the part of Brick Lane where there are dozens of side streets, markets and venues where you can hang out, each one with their own character. Yeah. 
This is Wojtek, the artist who created the art and the coat to the left of him. I'll link to his Instagram in the description. And this is Adrian Boswell, the broccoli artist. The Truman Brewery used to be one of the largest breweries in the UK and it's now a venue. I'm now turning off Pedley Street and heading for the Nomadic Gardens which were closed on Saturday but which I'm hoping will be open today. You're never far from a park in London and just out of the way of the colour and chaos is a serene green space. Just look to the left though and you'll see a complete contrast. Someone from the Nomadic Gardens talked to me while I was taking this video and said British Rail used to try to keep painting over the graffiti but then reached a compromise. And it's now a street art area drawing in a lot of tourists. I was lucky enough to find some people who were happy to have their photos taken in this amazing place. Change happens fast here though. This amazing slice of watermelon was reasonably unscathed on Saturday, but was on its way to being completely painted over by Thursday. I'm in luck. Today the gardens are open and inside it's a treasure chest of colour and photos. Now it's time to choose my favourite photos of the day and they're mostly of people. Firstly the street art toast because it's fun. Next this portrait because of the standout colours. Thirdly the photo taken on the painted boat. Fourth the girl in the mask smoking because she struck such a cool pose. Five is the upside down portrait again because it's just fun and looks great. Finally the watermelon for the colours. And my top choice this week, which will go on my Instagram, is the portrait in the standout colours. I've had a really great time in Brick Lane today. I hope you liked my photo choices. If you did, leave me a comment. And if you liked the video, give it a like and hit the red subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.